alpha, beta, gamma are roots of the given equation. Cubic equation x cubed minus ax squared plus bx minus c equals to 0. Hence, we need to evaluate what will be the value of summation alpha by beta plus beta by alpha. So, first of all, we need to write down what we are given. So, we are given a cubic equation. So, the relation between cubic equation and its roots would give us that alpha plus beta plus gamma would equal to minus of minus a by 1 which equals to a. We are given that alpha beta gamma would equal to similarly minus of minus c. So c by 1. So c and alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha would equal to would equal to B. Okay. So these are three relations that we have. So let me quote it as number one. Okay. So that we can use it later. Now let us try to evaluate what this expression actually means. So alpha by beta plus beta by alpha. Let's just open it up. What do we mean by this summation? Okay. So this summation, if I take the LCM, the summation will give me alpha beta, alpha square plus beta square okay so what I can do is uh, one manipulation that I can probably do here is to get in the denominator alpha beta and gamma so that I can use my value somewhere so I have I can what I can do is I can multiply and divide by gamma okay so I'll have alpha beta gamma in the denominator okay so, which can come out. So, this expression becomes 1 upon C into summation alpha square plus beta square into gamma. And if I try to open this summation up, that would give me different combinations of alpha, beta, gamma. So, this will essentially become, first expression will be alpha square gamma plus beta square gamma. Okay. Plus plus beta square gamma plus sorry beta square alpha plus gamma square alpha plus gamma square beta plus alpha square beta you understand how we are getting it what the combinations will be essentially here i have a combination of alpha beta gamma next combination will be beta gamma alpha then the combination will be uh, that then the combination will be gamma alpha beta so that's what the this is the expression when you open it up okay now so hence this becomes 1 upon c if you just look into it what exactly it is it is nothing else but summation of summation of all possible combinations of alpha square beta because when you open it up that's what you're getting right so this is nothing but alpha square beta sum so that's number two now consider let me just change the color consider consider the sum product of alpha and alpha beta because that will somewhere give, give us alpha square beta right so i can just break it up and i'll get summation if you open this up what will you get you will get summation alpha square beta plus you will have some other values as well plus you will have certain other values which will essentially be 3 alpha beta gamma and how are we getting this we are getting this because if you notice what we are doing we are doing alpha plus beta plus gamma getting multiplied with alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha and that equals to if you just multiply that will equal to alpha square beta plus alpha beta gamma plus alpha square gamma plus alpha beta square plus beta square 
gamma plus again alpha beta gamma plus alpha beta gamma I'm just doing a simple multiplication of these terms okay so plus beta gamma square plus gamma square alpha okay and this will actually equal to if you notice this will actually equal to alpha beta gamma alpha beta gamma okay so summation you have one square term one single term plus thrice of alpha beta gamma and that's what I've directly written out here okay that's what I've directly written out here so clearly what we have here clearly what we have here is that summation alpha into summation alpha beta equals to summation alpha square beta plus thrice alpha beta gamma okay now from what we noticed in one okay all the relationship between roots and roots and the equation we knew that summation alpha square beta will equal to a into b minus 3c minus 3c i can just put the values here right so a into b this is a this is b and this equals and minus this is c so 3c so this value comes from here so that means that means this is my number three okay so which means that from two what i have from two what i have is that summation alpha upon beta plus beta upon alpha was equal to one upon c summation alpha square beta which equals to one upon c into a b minus 3 c so this can be written as a b a b minus 3 c by c and that's the expression the value of the expression okay that's the value of the expression that we were required to find out 